Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica, and if you like what you see and you don't want to ghost me, make sure you subscribe at iBabes. Um, today's video is a little bit different. By the title of the video, I'm doing my long-awaited updated skincare routine. It's the morning, got my water. Is the first thing that I ingest is water after brushing my teeth, obviously. I don't know, some people brush their teeth after they eat. I'm not one of them. I'm Haitian, so I don't know what y'all think that is. Like, mm -mm, I was not raised like that. So starting off with a cleanser, I go in with um, warmish, lukewarm water. So two cleansers that I absolutely love. Um, the Be All, True All, CeraVe. Um, this is the Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. You can find this at Target. Um... CVS I'm pretty sure but I absolutely love this I used this for a long period of time um and it was good I um feel like it's very budget friendly and it gets a nice deep clean but I actually had this is an oldie but a goodie um I used this like probably post high school um my skin was like still like you know acting up but like I used to love this this is the Murad acne control clarifying cleanser um shout out to Murad they sent me some goodies and this is honestly one of my favorites um but this is what I've been using um as of late um this is an oldie but a good goodie too this is my Duval spin brush um, I can't remember if I still have the code or anything like that, but, um, absolutely love this. I haven't replaced the batteries, if I'm being honest, so that's why it's not spinning or anything like that. Sometimes it does a little dee dee dee, but I haven't replaced the batteries, um, just yet, but I absolutely love the spin brush. Um, I clean the heads and they're interchanging as well, um, but I feel like I get a deeper clean with this especially during the summer i am sweating i am such a sweater um so i just wash my face with this again i feel like i get a deeper clean with this compared to um just using my hands some people can just use their hands and all props to you but my nose especially right here gets all congested and again i just feel like i get a deeper clean um same thing like some some people just wash their bodies with just their hands couldn't couldn't be me now just gonna rinse my face off with cool water because i used warm water to open up my pores slightly and i'm gonna use cool water to close them up just gonna pat my face dry um my mom's always been the one that's taught me do you not like drag your face or anything like that you pat it dry and my mom looks like she's like in her 30s and the woman is like 48 so whatever mama pack home says we do so I'm just gonna pat my face dry and a step I feel like a lot of people are forgetting or just don't know about is toner so my favorite toner is the Copri um coconut rose toner i just love this brand in general they have a body scrub too i'm just like almost out i've repurchased this baby i don't know how many times um you gotta tone your face there are different toners i used to use um the pixie toner but i absolutely love um the Capri one, it's hydrate and balance with witch hazel and rose extract. Um, witch hazel, again, I feel like if you use it in its purest form is a little bit too intense, I'd say. I don't know. I'd say I'd have sensitive to normal skin. Certain things do break me out, like certain perfumed things. Okay, next up, we're going to go in with serums. But before that, um, I have... <laughs> Clearly, I used it down to the grit. My, like, secret rep weapon for this past year of how, like, I cleared up my skin is uh, the Faded Skincare um, brand um, by Originals. Or is it... I can't remember. Top Topicals. There we go. Um, by Topicals Faded. Now, if you are a black woman with 
dark spots. I feel like so many things on the market are targeted to lighter skin and when it comes to hyperpigmentation on darker skin it just doesn't do anything and i've used so many things in the past that it's like oh it's gonna get away with your like dark spots but it wasn't made for a black woman this brand is legitimately made for black women and when i tell you the dark spots were legitimately just like peeling off of my skin it was insane and even my boyfriend would like would look at me because i'd I used this for like, I, I think I saw results in like seven days, like in a week, like he'd be like, what's, what's on your face and like would reach and like legitimately could just peel off the dark spot. It was insanity. But like, if there's anything that I like swear by, it's the topicals faded. If you're trying to get rid of those dark spots and you are a black woman, topicals faded, go to Sephora, run to Sephora. This is like legitimately the key like all these other products have helped to maintain my face but honestly the topicals faded is just absolutely amazing and the key the key and i realized my skin really likes nis nisinamide i'll get into that but this has like kojo acid nisim nisinamide melatonin and trinexam ac acid i think that's how you say it yeah but um Moving on, so serum. I always use the nicinamide 10% and the zinc 1%. Um, my skin loves this stuff. It, I put it on, blemishes are gone, baby. Like, they're non-existent. Um, like, if something feels like it's gonna come up, it's not. It's not gonna come up on my skin anymore. I'm, I'm learning what does and doesn't like my skin. And of course, whenever you're applying anything, you're gonna go upward motions because we are not trying to drag our skin. And next in my lineup of what I'm actually gonna put on for serums is the serum from Aloe Ativa. It is their four time power elixir. Um, and shout out to my Aloe, Aloe Ativa fam. Um, I will put my code actually on the screen. Um, if you guys have watched my um, Vlogmas, my first Vlogmas actually, they had a pop-up in the seaport and um, I went in there, I tried it out first and I have been loving their products ever since um, and they reached out and your girl is an ambassador and I'm, again, I'm someone that's not going to recommend anybody anything if I don't swear by it or use it myself. I swear by this serum, it is so hydrating um growing up my mom always said the key to clear skin is aloe so not to say that these products are aloe based is it's just amazing my skin just like soaks it all up and i feel so hydrated um i use the serum morning and night and i could go on and on but like the simple fact that this product is water-based. Um, it's infused with hyaluronic acid. Um, it's plant-based collagen, and it just like brightens and calms my skin. Um, sometimes, especially like after a long day, my skin can just feel quite irritated from the sun if I'm laying out or anything. And this just like cools it. It's Italian-made, Boston-based um, company, and the owners are so cute. Absolutely love them. Bianca is a queen but from the aesthetic to the actual genuine brand i love just what they're all about um and if you guys haven't picked it up most definitely go and pick it up next up we have another serum but this is an eye serum this is the murad retinol youth and i know when people hear retinol high key want to run um but I think when you introduce it in small quantities, I know what people, I think there's like, quote unquote, an age that you should introduce retinol to your eye, uh, to your face, people say. Um, and when it comes to my eyes, I just felt like they, they were just different from like the darkness that I had around my eyes and under my eyes. I just absolutely hated it but Murad again is a company that I absolutely love and swear by um and I feel like also they're not very gimmicky now to one of my favorite parts is moisturizer um 
two of my favorite moisturizers again are from my two top brands um this one is the nutrient charged water gel by murad um again you're just gonna see a lot of repeats this baby is gone like i hardly have <laughs> anything left in this oh my god there's like hardly anything left but like this much but i love murad if you guys haven't realized from all the products obviously <laughs> um again i just feel like that this product um has left my skin super hydrated um and gives me that lock in after the toner and all those serums just locks in my face um and then we're gonna go on to again another product from my aloe fam um this is their 3d power hydrator um and this is newer um that i've been trying it out um i am always going to be honest when it comes to um the products that i recommend you guys I think with this product it definitely hydrates and locks it um, but I feel like it really just does seep into the skin so that's a different texture feeling. I don't know how to describe it. It's not a bad thing but like it just feels like it's one with my skin and like when I massage it in I'm like where where did it go <laughs> um, if that if that makes sense. So I really do love this for it because sometimes like when you do moisturize your skin you like you can just feel it on top of your skin and you don't feel it really like sink into it but I feel like with the aloe ativa it really does just like penetrate my skin and just becomes one when you're sweating that's a perfect example I sweat so much I went to the what is it truck pull with my boyfriend on Sunday and like I was sweating I only had put on like blush and some like highlighter on and after that it was just all my serums and stuff on my face and like I looked at myself in the mirror and like you know like sometimes with products you can see the product like that white film like that did not happen and I looked in the mirror after I used the bathroom and I was like whoa like I don't have any weird white cast or anything like that I love this so definitely like give it a 10 out of 10. I just realized I don't have my sunscreen with me in here oopsies but after this i'm not going out today and it's also a rainy day um but you should also be always wearing sunscreen i wear sunscreen all throughout the winter too because the sun's gonna come in no matter what personally for me i absolutely love the black girl sunscreen that is one of my favorites um i use the neutrogena for my body but i love using the black girl sunscreen for my face i have heard that super goop is really good um one of my friends um she is like of the same skin tone as me and she swears by the super goop so that is also a good one skincare routine has to have sunscreen like i don't care what you're like oh no put on sunscreen i'm not going outside today so that's different and then for my face mask i actually have two so this is the ordinary eight AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution. You put this bad baby on for 10 minutes, your skin is going to be different. I only did it like once every two weeks for a while and then slowly built my skin up to it. I forget what the babe's name is from TikTok, but I saw she posted it and like she's from New York, baddie, complete baddie. But she was like, I swear by this in this skin mask, and oh, it did what it had to do, like my skin the texture gone what is texture we don't know what texture is because of that face mask um and if i feel like my skin it just needs to be hydrated this is a holy grail this is my summer fridays jet lag um just completely re-moisturizes my face if i feel like i'm dry I put this on when i'm sleeping sometimes even just during the day if i'm walking around the house i put this bad baby on my face and chef's kiss babe now one last thing that i feel like some people forget this is something that i add to my nighttime routine you need a facial oil i love this baby if you've been following me for a long time you know i'm a drunk elephant hoe like i love drunk elephant this is their virgin marula oil um and i use this especially when i um shave my face 
If you don't shave your face, you need you need to find out shaving your face. I absolutely love this and too at nighttime when I what is it what is it? slugging? Is it the term called slugging? I don't know. Sometimes when I slug my face, I put this on too. And it'd be hitting. And I feel like some on your on an honorable mention is another key to how I get my like pimples gone. So I'm so I'm on my period right now. It's Shark Week, and um, I get like the occasional pimples. I work with kids, so they be touching my face, and I'll get like a random pimple. These pimple patches get the job done. You just put them on um half of the time i forget they're on my face and then like when they start to like work and stuff you all of a sudden see like it just becomes white and that means like all the gunk is coming out i put these on i go to the grocery store i went to like my nephew's um birthday party wore them did not care because auntie wasn't about to be having bad skin um but i love the mighty patches these are the best ones personally to me i've used starface and and other brands and they just aren't it. I'm gonna stick to what I know, and what I know is these bad babies do the job. I know it's very tempting to pop them. If I'm being honest, I have popped some pimples, and I'm like, fuck. And then I slap that bad boy on it, and it gets rid of the rest of the gunk. I put all my other skin like thingies, serums onto my face, and I don't end up with dark spots. So I know that's really bad to say and to promote, but that's what I do. I'm just gonna be truthful and be not be like, oh, I don't like pop my pimples, bitch. I pop my pimples all when I see a white head, I be popping Sean's pimples, okay? And he's like, stay the hell away from me. But I'm like, oh, come here. Um, but those are the products that I use. You know it's a hit or a miss not all of these products will work for you but at least if i can give some advice um to what you should be looking for what you should be looking for in certain products i hope i was able to help y'all kisses to my bitches stay hydrated kids see you in the next video um i love y'all make sure you follow me on all my socials and stuff um and i'll try and link all the products down below so you could just click and check out but Bye! Mm -hmm.